Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? I am, I am fine, thank you. Hi, teacher. Hi, Claudia. How are you? You know, Claudia, it's a very, it's a name that haunts me. Very, very what, teacher? Es un nombre que me sigue siempre, haunts me, Claudia. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, I, I have two, no, two sisters. My two sisters, their name is Claudia, all right? My ex, ah. my ex girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, it was a terrible woman. Oh man, she was a terrible woman. Her name is Claudia. When my ex girlfriend and I, we finished, her name was Claudia. We finished. Conocí. I met. <laughs> I met my wife, mi esposa, and uh, her name is Claudia. You, your wife is. Your name is Claudia. Her name is Claudia. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Claudia is everywhere. Qué pasa con Claudia. Yes. <laughs> All right, but it, I, I like the name. It's very beautiful. Why you? Why your your ex girlfriend is terrible? <laughs> oh, she was a terrible woman. Why? Because I was her official boyfriend. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so, but, but but she's she's another. Yeah, I mean, I was the official boyfriend. <laughs> okay but um there were maybe two or three not official okay totally yeah, so four <laughs> my ex-girlfriend is the best thing that happened to me okay La mejor que me ha pasado. Uh -huh. because we finished <laughs> it's good yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sí, por, porque cortamos y, y me pongo a pensar, oh my God, pudo haber sido peor. Imagine a baby or algo. Uf. No. <laughs> now, now I am, I am very happy. A, le, a, a little boy uh, or girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, now I, I am very happy with my wife, with my son, and. Whoosh, Nice. How are you, class? How is everybody today? Good. What is what is new? What is oh you know what? You know yesterday, remember the rain? Yes. No rain in my house. <laughs> Nothing. In my, in, in my house to not rain. Yeah, I was waiting, 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 like, oh, I'm going to wait. Nothing, not, ah, oh, terrible. I was very happy. I'm, quizá una hora esperé, como, va a llover o no. Nothing. And um, so today in the morning, I wash my car. Okay, remember what we have been practicing? Can you hear me, class? Yes. Okay, what have we been practicing? Do you remember? What? What, what did we do yesterday? Do you remember? I have eight people. No, I don't remember because I don't connect it yesterday. I, okay, I didn't sorry. connect. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, didn't connect. I didn't connect yesterday. I didn't connect, sorry. 
No, no, it's okay. Um, we were practicing the frequency adverbs. Yes. Correct? Yes, teacher. All right. And um, I think the frequency adverbs is no problem no more because what we need to practice more is the listening part, remember? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, hi. Okay, um, I'm going to share my screen and please tell me, we're going to watch a, a small video. I'm sorry, a small video, a short video. Okay. Okay, um, hold on, please, let me open it. Hold on, please. Okay, um, do you see the screen? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. I can see. Um, do you see the difference between how, okay, you see how often? How long? How, how good? good or how well? How, how well. How well. Do you, do you know the difference between well, what is well? Bien. How well? Que tan bien. And what is good? Que tan buena. So what is the difference between well and good? Do you know what is the difference? No. Okay, look. Good, it's an adjective. Do you know what is an adjective? Yes. Cla thank you, what is an adjective? Um, that describes the su subject. Okay, good, an adjective describes a subject. For example, in this moment, El Salvador is hot. What is the um, adjective? Hot. 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 And what is the subject? El Salvador. Okay. El Salvador. Okay, oh, lo podemos poner mejor. El, eh, an adjective describes a noun. Okay, so good, it's an adjective. Because, for example, Lionel Messi is a good player, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, normalmente no, he's the best. But okay, he's a good player. <laughs> Vamos a decirlo, okay, um, Cristiano Ronaldo is a good player. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, good. Okay, now look at the difference between good. Now, well, the difference between well and good is that good describes a person. Well describes the verb. Do you understand? No. Okay, no problem. I will explain to you right now. Let's say cook. My mother is a good cook. ¿Qué dije? Su mamá es una buena cocinera. Good. Because, uh, ¿usa verbo? No. My mother is a good cook. Is a, is a verb, no. No, cook, cook is a name. Cook is. is yes. No, 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 cook. no, pero en el sentido, listen to this. An adjective describes a person, correct? Yes. So my mother is a good cook. Good is describing the cook. Okay. Okay. Now, let's say well. My mother cooks well. ¿Qué está describiendo well? ¿A mi madre o a su forma de cocinar? Su forma de cocinar. Su forma de cocinar. Está describiendo. Y good describe a la mamá. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, my mother is a good cook. Bueno, está describiendo a mi mamá. Pero si yo digo, well, my mother cooks well. Well is not describing my mother. Well is describing the verb. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 That is that is called an adverb, adverbio. Lo vamos a ver después quizás, pero... La diferencia de un adverbio y un adjetivo, el adjetivo describe a la persona. El adverbio describe al verbo. El verbo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Y uh -huh. generalmente todos los adverbios terminan en li. Por ejemplo, slow. What is slow? Lento. Lento. Slowly. Y slowly, ¿qué sería? Lentísimo. No. <risa> Buena, pero no. Lentamente. Uh -huh. ese, ese, ese al final, li es básicamente la mente. El, va. el en, entamente. Lentamente. Uh -huh. So, listen to this. The turtle is slow. ¿Qué dije? Ah, no la escuché. The turtle, turtle, tortuga, the turtle uh -huh. is uh -huh. slow. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dije? La es lenta. Okay, good. Now I'm going to describe this. The turtle walks slowly. Uh -huh. okay, La tortuga camina lentamente. Good. Slowly is describing walk, uh -huh. not the turtle. Uh -huh. Okay, so that is the difference. So what is an adverb? Uh, I'm sorry, what the adjective describes? Person. Person. And then the adverb? Describe verb. The verb. Good. So good is a subject or an object? I'm sorry. Good is, a, is an adjective or an adverb? Adjective. Adjective. And well is a? Adverb. Adverb. Y vamos a ver si estamos bien aquí. How good are you at sports? Very good, porque ya no hay verbos aquí que está describiendo. So, aquí está again. Good are you. How good are you at sports? I am good, I am bad. Y aquí es, how well do you play tennis? Me interesa well, me interesa play, no me interesa you. Teacher, una yes. pregunta. Fíjese que yo tuve un, tuve un problema ahí con, con un ejercicio de la primera sección. Uh -huh. uh, que aparece ahí, bueno, aquí hay que poner la pregunta 
dependiendo de cómo nosotros interpretamos la respuesta, creo que es el 1.1. Exacto. Que, uh, por ejemplo, yo le puse, how well do you type? Porque uh -huh. solo aparece la palabra type. Y la respuesta es, not very well. Actually, I need to, I need to take uh, typing, typing class. Uh -huh. Yo le puse en la respuesta, por ejemplo, how well do you? Y siempre me la tira mala. ¿Será que me estoy equivocando con, con el well? Tendría que ser do. Sí, espérame, ahorita, eh, ahorita, ahorita la saco, permítame. ¿Están viendo mi, mi pantalla? Sí. Sí, pero, no sé. But, pero no lo se puede leer. Sí, se ve, pero hay algo borroso. Está borroso. Ok, hold on, please. Es que saben, disculpen, es que saben qué pasa. Estaba dando una clase de 8 a 9. Y como ya la terminé, se está uploading, descargando. Mm. Y esto está haciendo mi, 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 mi internet un poco lento. Ok, vamos a ver. Le menciono esto porque precisamente estamos viendo estas dos palabras, de yes. well y, y cool, ¿verdad? Y intento y... poner, how well can you type? Yo How lo hice well? aquí y sí me salió. ¿Cómo? Yes. ¿Cómo? How well can you can type? You type? Pero saben que eh, no se preocupe porque también eh, está buena como usted lo dijo. Ajá, si yo le digo, pero sí lo tira, lo tira. Bueno, a mí me lo tiró en sí. ambas. Tanto uh, con well como con good, me lo tiró malo. No, eh, eh, la que andaba buscando este formato era how well can you type? Can you? Es can you. Ajá. Mm. Pero eso es como que si yo le pregunte a usted, ¿qué también maneja? ¿O qué también puede manejar? Puede, ajá. Ah, porque no eh, estamos usando el can. Uh -huh. aún. The two are correct. But in this case, it's how well can you type? Okay. Okay. So, um, vamos a esos. How often? How well? How long? How good? For example, um, pon atención. How often? Ya creo que ya, ya lo podemos de super bien. Huh? How long? What is how long? Cuánto tiempo? Cuánto tiempo? <clears throat> Mira, aunque no está aquí, le voy a decir una cosa. What is the difference between how long and how far? How far is que tan lejos. Que tan lejos. Good. Oh, okay, good. So if I tell you, how long is San Miguel from San Salvador? Hmm, maybe two hours. How far? How far is it? Kilometers. Uh, Or two hundred, distance. 200, yeah, 200 kilometers. Okay, yeah, maybe 200 kilometers, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I'll put them. Okay, good, so you understand. Okay, now let's listen to this video, okay? Tell me if you understand. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone, we will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. 
About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, so pretty much here, what we wanted to learn was how. How well, how good, how are you? Um, how well do you? How often do you? Can I hit him? How long? How long? How long? How long? How well? All right, good. How good? I'm sorry? Okay, now let's practice this. Let's, tr let's do with how long. Helen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Helen. Helen, can you tell me how long do you sleep every day? Uh, well, I, uh, I sleep um, five or six hours. Really? Five or six hours? Yes. Why? Um, always I have to uh, anything in the night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you please ask a question to Edgar with how far? I'm sorry, with how well? How well? Uh, Edgar, hi. How well did you uh, play the soccer? I'm very well played soccer. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, um, hold on. I'm going to share my screen again. Do you see my screen? Yes, but uh, I can't read. It's not too much, teacher. No, okay, hold on. Let me open it. What about now? Uh, uh, empañado? Oh, sí, teacher. Okay. okay. Do you see here how many meals? Do you eat each day? So many meals. Yeah, okay. Let me see. Byron, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Byron, um, how many is countable, right? Uh-huh, okay. Hmm. Byron, how many pupusas do you eat when you eat pupusas? <laughs> uh, four pupusas. I eat? I eat four pupusas. Sometimes when I... I'm hungry or something. 
Okay, good. All right, nice. All right, Brenda, do you see how, no, no more, yeah, yeah, no more how often. <laughs> Brenda, how many? Do you see this, Brenda? Um. <laughs> Number three, how many? Yes. Um, ignore this, ignore the question. So I said, how many? Brenda, do you drink coffee? Uh, yes, a little bit. Do you drink coffee with sugar? Yes. How many sugars do you put in your coffee? Uh, I put one. One sugar. No, oh, one sugar, no me como cuchara. Good. Mm. But you know, in English, it's okay to say one sugar, two sugars. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Um, Victor, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Victor. Victor, do you see the difference between how much and how many? How uh, much and how many? How many? Is quantas or quantos? No. Okay, um, maybe, maybe. So, what is the difference between how much and how many, class? Many countables, much not countables, maybe? Yes. yes. When you say how many, when you say how many, it's countable. For example, I asked Byron, how many pupusas do you drink? Eat. Do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No problem. And, <laughs> and the answer, the answer is countable. He said four. Now, when you say how much, the answer is never, never countable. Never. The answer is always a quantity. Okay, milk, what? water, for example. Yes, but look, the important thing here is quantity. Okay. How much? Very little. Average, a lot. Okay. Um, I can fool monkey. Mm. Twice, uh, two veces. Two uh, times. Like in, in <laughs> okay, no, okay. So let's, you smoke, correct? Okay. Okay, good. Um, smoke is not countable. So tell you, how much do you smoke a day? A dia. A lot. Very little. I never smoke smoking. Very little. Okay, very little. Yeah. Pero si ya le quiero meter cigarrillos, ya pongo how many. Porque cigarrillos es contable. Contable. How many cigarettes do you okay. smoke a day? Mm -hmm. But smoke is not countable. So how much smoke? Mm -hmm. Do you, um, how much do you smoke in a day? Um, I smoke very, very little. Um, can you do nothing? Claudia, I think? Yes. Oh, Claudia doesn't smoke? Yes, I, I don't smoking. I never smoking. Very good. Yeah, me too, I, I, I never smoke. Before I did. Before, maybe I smoke one pack a day. Wow. One pack? Yes. And when I drink beer or tequila, maybe two packs a day. When, when you are, when... Uh, you, when you were teenager, teenager. Yeah. 
Yes. But you know, I stopped smoking and I don't know why. <laughs> no sé por qué dejé de fumar, simplemente pum. De un día al otro, like, no more. Mm. Don't eat healthy, teacher. No, I do, I, I do. But, but I am very happy that I stopped smoking. <clears throat> it was not difficult for me. Oh. <clears throat> I have friends, friends that is very, very difficult, the habit mm -hmm. to stop. For me, it was no problem. So it's good. Adriana, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, Adriana, how are you? Very well. Okay, Adriana, how do you eat your cereal? Sorry. No, some problem. How do you eat your cereal? Lo último, no lo entiendo. Cereal, uh, corn flakes. Ah, cereal. Um, to to a uh, week, dos veces por semana, two. Two times a week. Two times a week. A week. A week. Uh, no, but listen to my question. My, my question is, how do you eat your cereal? Do you understand my question? No, cuando dice how do you como se lo come? You know, me, uh, hay gente, some people hot milk. <laughs> hay gente que calienta uh -huh. la leche. Uh -huh. Some people, <laughs> you put you you your cereal with hot milk. Of course, yeah. I, I, I eat, I eat my cereal with cold milk. Teacher, yes, I I I eat a cereal with milk with coffee. Wait, wait. To your cereal, you put milk and coffee. Yeah. It's stranger. <laughs> it's strange. uh -huh. What? Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> that's strange. That's, that's very strange. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, what about you, Adriana? How do you eat your cereal? Um, with cold milk. Okay, very good. I eat my cereal with cold milk. Some people eat the cereal with bananas or with sugar. Me too. And, and pasas. Raisins. Uh-huh. But cold milk uh, with, with coffee, that's, that's strange. Um, will, milk with coffee <laughs> and bananas or raisin that's or apple. And apples. Okay, good. Okay, um, Kike, can you please ask Claudia a question with how do you? Uh, Claudia. Yes. Uh, how do you eat pupusas? I eat pupusas two times uh, a month. No, how? How? Uh, uh, I I eat um, 
three three pupusas. No. How no. do you eat pupusas? How is? Como. Como. Como tu comes las pupusas. Okay. Um, one thing, Claudia, please no diga with my mouth. <laughs> Because that's logical. Um, some people eat with no fingers, with fingers, with um, ketchup. Uh -huh. Some people only tomato sauce. Uh, um, how do you eat yeah. pupusas? I... Well, we have a we have a bad connection now. Whoa. Hello. Okay, no, Claudia. I, I, I think he he she has a problem with yes. her connection. Yes, but I can't I can't silence her. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Claudia. We have a bad you have a bad connection because we hear an Android. <laughs> but don't worry, Claudia. Tell me when you come back. Um, Kike, can you please ask? Um, Jonathan, a question with how do you? Okay. Jonathan. Hi. Uh, how do you drink your coffee? Okay. I drink my coffee with milk and two sugar. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, your turn, Jonathan. Can you please ask Delmi? Delmi. Hello, Delmi. Hello. Okay. Um, how do you prepare your sandwich? I prepare my sandwich with bread and vegetables and atun. Tuna fish. Tuna fish, okay. All right, very good, Delmi. Can you uh, please ask Luis Lemus? Hello, Luis. Hello. Okay, um, how, how do you prepare in your lunch? How do you prepare on the lunch? lunch? How do you prepare your lunch? How do you prepare it? In lunch. I, I, I lunch prepare. I prepare my lunch. I prepare my lunch. Is pupusas. <clears throat> I prepare my lunch, pupusas. Okay, good. Um, actually, that's that's a very tricky question because how do you prepare your lunch? What is the possible answers? I prepare lunch. Hagamos algo más como, hey, how do you how do you drink chuco? Oh, I I drink chuco with um, bread. My specific. Uh, how do you how do you eat tacos? I eat not tacos. complicated. 
Yeah. No, but you know, uh, how do you prepare your lunch is, is good, but the, the answer is very tricky because mm -hmm. how do you prepare your lunch? I prepare my lunch with salt, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you change the question, ma'am? Teacher, sorry, I have a question. Yes, in the four, how much junk food do you add, do you eat? Sorry, and yes. the literal B about ¿qué dice? Ever, no sé qué dice. About ¿Qué average. What is average? Oh, good question. Average is un promedio, promedio. Okay, thank you. Thank no, you. no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, what is an average in El Salvador? Junk food? Uh, not every day, but an average is maybe two or three times a week. Okay. So um, I'm sorry, who, the, quien preguntó, how do you prepare your lunch? Me, tell me. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Tell me, can you, can you ask a more specific question, please? Okay. Um, I don't know. How do you, um, how do you drink your lemonade? Okay, good. Ah, okay. How, how drink lemonade? How do you drink your lemonade? How do you drink lemon uh, is with water, with le lemon, is salt. Okay, I'm sorry, Luis, but of course, a lemonade is with lemon. Lemon, pardon. No, but how do you drink your lemonade? I drink my le lemonade with ice or, or salt. Come see, salt. I put... Um, I drink my lemonade. I put sugar and salt. Sugar, salt, lemon. Pero es que ella no le está preguntando qué es limonada. Le está preguntando cómo la bebe. How do you drink lemon? Ah, okay. Cómo la bebe. Pero bien este... No es muy específico la pregunta. Sí, yo, eh, yo, yo preguntar algo más como unas bebidas que todas las tienen una forma diferente de hacerla. Por ejemplo, el atol, el chuco, eh, el café. Sí. Porque hay mucha gente que toma café negro, hay mucha gente que lo toma con leche, hay mucha gente que lo toma con azúcar. Pero, ¿cómo toma usted su limonada? Ok, le voy a hacer una pregunta. Luis, ¿do you drink liquor? I drink, perdón, este, repito. Do you, ¿Do you drink whisky? No. No, do you, no, no drink whisky. ¿Do you drink tequila? No drink tequila. Beer, I drink beer. Ok. How do you drink your beer? I do drink beer. Yes, I, I drink beer uh, with vodka. Uh, with, a, with a snack? A snack, yes. Good. Okay, uh, Luis, in my, in my example, I drink beer in a glass. I drink in a glass. No me gusta en botella ni en lata. I, 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 like, I like beer. I drink beer in a glass. Ah, oh, yes. Um, en vaso. Um, en vaso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I, I prefer a glass. All right. Uh, Marcela, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, Marcela, how are you? Fine. Um, how do you sleep at night, Marcela? Well, I sleep uh, 
It depends. It it is really cold. I don't use uh I don't know how to say the the piece of to cover P myself pajamas. when I'm sleeping. Pajamas. No the tiger <laughs> the tiger. I, I don't know the, the things we, we use to cover. Blanket. Blanket. If it's too cold I don't uh, use a blanket. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're talking. Listen to this example class. I asked Marcela, how do you sleep at night? And she says, depends. If it's cold, I sleep with a blanket. Okay, and if it's not cold? I don't sleep with a blanket. You sleep with a fan? No, <laughs> just only me and Beth. <laughs> you and your pet? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I I always sleep with a fan. What is a fan? Ventilador. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Marcela. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Brenda. Hello, yes, Brenda. Are you there? Uh, okay. Brenda, I'm sorry, I forget. Where do you work? I live in Cincinnati. No, where, where do you work? Oh, what is it, our office? Okay. How do you travel from your house to the office? How do you travel? And... Um, since I walk every day. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I walk from my house. I walk from my house every day with the work. No, okay, look. So my question is, how do you travel from your house to the office? And your answer is, I, I walk from my house to the office. Okay. Repeat, please. Okay. I walk from my house. No. All right, good. Jonathan, are you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Jonathan, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Okay, Jonathan. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> how how well does your wife cook? Um, compared to your mother. <laughs> yes. 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 My wife cooks very well. Está cerca, ¿verdad? Está oyendo. Yeah. In the other room. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I understand. No problem. <laughs> okay, thank you. Edgar, are you there? Teacher. Hello? Hi, teacher. Hi, Edgar. How are you? Fine. Very Where fine. are you, Edgar, in this moment? I'm in my room. Okay, where in San Salvador? In, Me in Mexicanos. In Mexicanos. How hot is it in Mexicanos in this moment? It's not hot. It's, it's hot or uh, cool. I live in the near of the volcano. Oh, okay. So it's it's cool. Cool in the area. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice because it's not hot, hot, hot. No. Because here in San Salvador, it's hot. Yeah. It's hot. Okay. Let me see. Pati. 
Patti. Hello, you... teacher. Hi, Patti. Patti, do you like to dance? Yes, I like very much. All right. How do you dance salsa? Um, and, and the reason I don't I'm know asking, how to describe this. Because, no, oiga eso, porque hay gente que la baila separado, hay gente que la baila pegada. Ah, okay. Pegada uh, would be close. I dance. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry? No, no, no. Go ahead. Continue, please. Okay. I then salsa. Um, together. Close. Oh, ¿Cómo puedo decir juntos? Cerca. Close. Okay. Cl I, I like then salsa. Close. Good. Good. All right, yes. That's easy. Uh -huh. How do you dance salsa? I like to dance salsa close. Okay. Um, who likes to cook? Me. You like to cook, Patty? Yes. How do you make pupusas with dough? Saben que es dough. Oh. Oh. Viene la palabra donut. Dough es masa. Oh, okay. Okay, es masa. So, how do you make your pupusas? With dough or with flour or de harina? I make pupusas with rice flour. Okay, good. I make pupusas with rice flour. All right, very good. Okay. Entonces, okay. mire, eh, lo, entonces esto es prácticamente eh, cómo hacer preguntas cortas usando how. Entonces está solo simplemente how, how do you y el verbo. Está how many, how much, um, how often. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, teach. Yes. Okay. How do you do? How do? Hay muchas canciones con how. Deberíamos de escuchar una música, pero los cincuentas. Usando how do you. Y miren, la yeah. famosa pregunta. Cuando uno dice how do you. La pueden usar como cómo se dice. How do you say? Yeah. Yes. Mucha okay. gente me pregunta, teacher, ¿cómo se dice esto en inglés? How do you say tronco in English? Mm -hmm. How do you say te amo in English? Por ejemplo, right? Y también se puede decir, how do you get, ¿cómo, cómo vas? Como, como para pedir direcciones. Mm -hmm. oh, imagine you're driving and you say, excuse me, how do you get to the uh, to the hospital? Mm -hmm. How do you get or how do you go to the hospital? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, cuando uno quiere preguntar, hey, ¿cómo se viste uno para una fiesta? How do you dress Por ejemplo, how do you dress for a funeral? Para un funeral. How do you dress for a funeral? Okay. Class, how do you how do you dress for a funeral? You dress in black, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Be sure. Yes. How do you learn English? How? Uh, I studied in the United States and here. You you travel in the United States? Yes. Okay. Good. No existe que chivo en inglés. Sabes que sí existen, pero son modismos. Y los modismos son bien propios del idioma. Porque, por ejemplo, 
chivo para nosotros en México es chido. Entonces, pero por ejemplo, hay eh, una traducción exacta no existe, pero hay un modismo, hay una forma de dar a entender lo que querías decir. Entonces, por ejemplo, sería cool. Hey, that's cool. Eso está no. cool. Es como eso está chivo, eso está chévere. Nice. That's nice, ¿ah? Huh? Sí. Yeah. Siempre. Uh -huh. oh, it's great, great. Ah, pero, pero, por ejemplo, that's great, ya yeah, es algo formal. Es una mm -hmm. palabra formal. Es como decir en español, that's great, eso es grandioso. Mm. Pero si uno dice, entonces, ¿vas a ir mañana? Mm. Sí, ok, chivo. So, are you going tomorrow? Yeah, ok, cool. Mm. ¿Me entiendes? Okay. Entonces, eso es ya, ya entrando un poco al caliche. Ok. Pero... Eh, sí. Yo, yo creo que por eso es que también a muchos eh, Puerto bueno, a muchos caribeños les cuesta aprender el inglés porque ellos hablan inconscientemente, ellos hablan tan mal el español que ya no saben qué es formal o informal. <risa> Y es cierto, vean, vean una entrevista de cualquier artista caribeño, dice, eh, eh, para empezar no, no pronuncian la R, pronuncian la L. Mm -hmm. Y dice, había un man, un man ahí en la esquina, bueno, no sé, pero la, la verdad todos hablan no así. No sabía si era un man o un mango. Ajá. <risa> sí, uno se queda, what? Sí. Entonces, a ellos les cuesta aprender mucho porque para aprender un idioma hay que aprender la forma formal primero. Y después la, 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 sí. la, 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 la forma formal. informal ajá, se aprende, pero ahí es, ya también uno tiene que aprender un poco más de cultura para entender qué es informal. Pero, ok. Ok, gracias. Mañana sí. vamos a hacer... Yes, mande. Sí. ¿Cómo en inglés, ¿cómo puede entenderme a un norteamericano que yo le diga que lo quiero, pero no le estoy diciendo lo amo? Porque lo love es te amo. Okay, pero no entonces, sé si entiende. Por ejemplo, sí. a un amigo no le quiero decir a un amigo, le digo te quiero. Ok, ah, buena pregunta. Eh, ¿Usted le quiere decir a un amigo? Oh, te quiero, amigo. ¿Verdad? Ah, está le puede decir I love you, pero está en la forma que se lo dice. Porque, por ejemplo, le puede decir, no, okay, okay, my friend, okay, my friend, remember I love you. ¿Me entiendes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Se lo dijo en una forma que él no va a tomar ningún mal pensamiento. Bueno, solo que él ya sea <ríe> un poco. <ríe> Ajá. No, hay, no, hay, no hay un te quiero y un, y un te amo. Pero si usted le dice ahí, ok, okay. Um, ok, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. <ríe> ya soy un poco más fuerte, pero si usted le dice, ok, um, be good. I love you, my friend. ¿Entiende? Entonces, Thank eso you. está en la forma como se lo dice. Yo así se lo diría. Pero como recalcándole, hey, o even lo que dije, my friend. <ríe> mm -hmm. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, los norteamericanos, teacher, ellos no diferencian I love you de, de, independientemente de la forma en que uno lo diga, por ejemplo. No, no, eh, ellos, siempre lo, ellos siempre dicen I love you, pero sí saben entender qué tipo de I love you les están diciendo. Ok, con el gesto. Ajá, en la forma como lo dicen. Yeah, I appreciate you. No, pero por ejemplo, si le digo, ok, class, um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Be good, ok, I love you. Pero ahí les dice, ok, class, eh, pásala bien, feliz Navidad, los quiero a todos, I love you. Mm. Y, y si no digo, no es como que si diga, um, Patty, eh, creo que, I think I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya, me estoy, ya me estoy comprometiendo como, Patty, I love you. Sí, entonces eh, lo que digo, todo está como lo dicen. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh 
Ok. Eh, igual, igual también en español, hoy, hoy se ve mucho de eso, que amigos y amigas te dicen, ok, amigo, cuídate, te quiero mucho. Sí, pero uh -huh. es que ah, en español sí tenemos el te amo, y a un amigo no le decimos te amo mucho. Sí. Pero en inglés sí, en inglés si uno va a decir I love you, I, es lo mismo, pero solo está, depende cómo lo dice. Uh -huh. Entonces, si le quiere decir a alguien sin mala intención, dígale, ok, my friend, bye bye, I love you, my friend. Ok. Me uh -huh. decirle, ok, ok, John. Remember. Estoy hablando con un egipcio y el egipcio entiende, entendió mal el I love you. Estábamos en un chat. Uh -huh. Entonces entendió mal el, el I love you y ya estaba como... Entonces tuve que bloquearlo porque ya no paraba de escribirme y es que no, que te, que te quiero conocer, que quiero viajar a El Salvador. Entonces ya no hay... Yo me sentí como... ¿Será que él no entendió que lo vio de que te quiero como amigo? Ajá, pero saber cómo se lo puso porque que si usted le puso... Ok, good night, I love you. Es que lo que digo, y eso fue peor porque fue escrito, él lo leyó, entonces uno percibe las cosas como las quiere. No. Entender, sí, entonces. Sí, sí, mal eso. Ajá, pero si usted le hubiera puesto, ok, my friend, be good, ok, remember, I love you. O sea, el hecho dijo, my friend, puso expectativa antes, como, hey, ¿en qué momento te, te di esperanzas? Dije, me dijiste, I love you. No, te puse, ok, my friend, remember, I love you. Okay. ¿Me entienden? Uh -huh. Sí, entonces, en, en pocas palabras, está como, como usted lo, lo, lo diga. Okay. Lo va a entender. Y si se lo va a decir a alguien en serio, dígaselo serio. Pero si lo va a decir así como en, en no, en, compromet, en compromiso, agrega unas palabras ahí como, ok, my friend, ok, my teacher, <laughs> oh, I go first. ok, my doctor, thank you, I love you, doctor. ¿Me entienden? Yeah. Ok. Ok, class, um, I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Teacher. Yes. Uh, there are class tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes, but remember last Friday there was no class. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Good night. Okay, good night, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.